how do you become more effective with your video marketing? That's what I'm gonna talk about. What's up guys, it's Enrique, team leader with PRG Real Estate, brokered by eXp, and I wanna talk about video content. It's 2022, we just got into the new year, and I am encouraging my whole entire team to just really double down on the video marketing, creating content, putting themselves out there on social media, and just really showcasing their value to their friends and family and colleagues through social media. Now, a lot of agents are scared to put out content or are hesitant to put out content because they either are afraid of what they look like or what they sound like or they don't know what sort of content to put out or they're just scared to be in front of the camera, whatever it might be. But I'm gonna give you guys three tips today on how to be more effective with your video content. Three simple tips and if you really just embrace this guys, you will see that it's super easy to put out content. Number one is just don't think your content has to be perfect and this is a prime example right now. Uh, I picked up my kids from school earlier, took them to lunch. Uh, I had to take my daughter to gymnastics. She's in gymnastics right now behind me. My son's in the car. He's on his uh, on his tablet or his iPhone playing a little game. Say what's up, Miles. What's up? All right, see, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Like I'm literally shooting from my iPhone. I have the phone propped up right here against my windshield. I got my AirPods on. I'm parked in the parking lot. I got some decent lighting here. You guys can hear me okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to be in a studio. You don't have to have all this fancy equipment. Like your phone could do wonders. It's really about the message that you put out there. So that's the biggest thing is don't overthink it. Don't think it has to be perfect and just shoot video anywhere. Anytime you're inspired to shoot video, just bust out your phone. Make sure you have decent audio. Make sure that it's, it's well lit and people can at least hear you and just shoot, right? So that's number one is don't, don't overcomplicate it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Number two, and this is the big thing, guys, is what sort of content do you come up with, right? What are the topics that you come up with? Really, you got to think about what do people want to know? It's not what do you think is cool. It's what is valuable to the person watching the video. And that really depends on what sort of business you're trying to attract. Like if you want to attract more buyers to work with you, well, you should be putting out content that relates to what buyers go through. Buyers wanna know how the market is doing. Buyers wanna know tips for, for buying a home or how to write a successful offer. Just think about like all the troublesome things that buyers go through. And those are the questions that you need to answer. Uh, for sellers, it's, it's the same thing. Just talk about what sellers wanna know about. If you're trying to build your business or maybe build a team and attract agents, which is what I'm trying to do, we're trying to grow our organization, I'm putting out content that I think would be valuable to other agents out there, right? So you really gotta think about what your uh, message to market is, right? Like who's your audience and what do they wanna hear? A uh, big helpful tip that I always tell my agents is just go on Google and type in like home buying frequently asked questions or home selling frequently asked questions. You'll see pages and pages and pages with the most common questions and all, that's your content right there. You can make a video about every single one of them and just put that out there. Um, the other thing too is like content really comes to me, like ideas come to me at all sorts of times throughout the day. So like in my iPhone, I have a note section that I keep and it just says video topics. And every time I get a bright idea, I just add it to that note. Uh, in the morning when I'm working out really early or when I'm dropping my kids off at school, I get a lot of ideas. Sometimes I'm in the shower, the bathroom, whatever, and the ideas come, right? So you just want to be able to document those on there so you don't forget. And then next time you're in front of you know your camera, you got a whole list of content um, to put out there. Um, I'm not sure if that was three tips. There's a few tips in there. But guys, at the end of the day, like you got to just pick up the phone or your camera or whatever you're using to record yourself and just put it out there. Don't be afraid to mess up. Don't think it has to be perfect. Um, in fact, the more authentic that you can be, the more genuine you can be, the more relatable you are gonna be, right? So if, you, if people can relate to you, let's say because they have kids and you see my son in the background, that creates trust right there because we are similar types of people, right? So it's important that you just be yourself and you are gonna attract those type of clients who really resonate with you or that type of business that you're looking for, whatever it might be, whatever your goal is at the end of the day. I hope that this message helps you out. 
I hope you guys get some ideas. I hope you guys take some action in 2022 to put out some video content because video is extremely powerful and it's crucial to your business. If you guys need anything, you need tips on buying, selling, building your business, whatever it might be that has to do with real estate and business, please feel free to reach out to me and I'd love to chat with you and see if I can help you out. Talk to you soon. Peace. Say bye, Miles. Bye.